what could turn into a last-ditch effort to help protect the identity of the half-billion-dollar Powerball winner in Merrimack started at Bunny Superette in Manchester. I was in line this weekend getting a lottery ticket, and someone said, this, it's a shame they would expose everyone to the, to the state or the country if you have a great day and win some money. And I think the citizens of New Hampshire, I think, really want to be able to protect their privacy. State Senator Kevin Kavanaugh is trying to build support for an amendment that would allow lottery winners to remain anonymous. He's hoping it might be able to apply to the winner in Merrimack, but he and legislative leaders know that it's a stretch. I certainly, given what has happened to past lottery winners and trying to encourage people to play in the lottery, think that anonymity is a good thing. Now, whether we can do it uh, retroactively, I think that's a very big question. The legislature passed a bill protecting the identity of lottery winners in 2014, but it was vetoed by then-Governor Maggie Hassan. The legislature should step in and settle this foolishness. This is not what New Hampshire should be focusing on, trying to pull somebody off into the um, into the darkness, into the light to accept their money. They, they want it fair and square, they should get their money. Senator Kavanaugh, an occasional Powerball player himself, wants to make the privacy choice as simple as possible. Yeah, I think we should have maybe a checkbox to say if you want to um, remain anonymous, you should be able to just check that off. Even if you sign the back of the ticket, you can still check it off saying, I want to be anonymous. As far as whether this current effort could somehow help the winner in Merrimack, lawmakers say they know it's a long shot, but they want to do anything they can to help. Reporting live at the State House in Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.